أما قال الله عبادي عبادي من تقرب إلي شبرا تقربت إليه ذراعا ومن تقرب إلي ذراعا تقربت إليه باعا ومن أتاني يمشي أتيته هرولا So the ayah that come to my mind وعنده مفاتح الغيب لا يعلمها إلا هو ويعلم ما في البر والبحر like Allah يعني علم or knowledge like you know is over everything in in the يعني earth and the skies and everything yeah and you know Allah mentioned like anything get dropped any like you know any small thing walk in you know in the ground so Allah عز وجل is aware of that if you keep like thinking about that you know if you take a plane you know in a flight and look at the like just the area that your eyes can see only like you know how many millions and billions and billion of billions small stuff walking and some leaves is falling down and it's something you know quite you know big we are busy with life sometimes with the social media all all of our time is just you know if you have two minute uh, you know free time you just get out your you know, um, smartphone and check. So we need, you know, to try to know Allah Azza wa Jal more and more. So I'm just reminding myself first and you as well, just, you know, we need to have time to to try to know who is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Because, you know, in, in, in prayer, the first thing we raise our hand and say, Allahu Akbar. So the first word, Allah. So do we know Allah, you know? Wallahi, yani, we need to know Allah. To be able to to you know increase our iman. فسلام الله على الهادي والكون يردد آمينا. Which one was asking about the Jinn stories? I was. I think yeah, I think you have stories then. Oh no, I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I heard the third floor in ELM had some Jinn stuff. Yeah, Tajam will see that story. No, but I know 100%. I've been told on the third floor there was like some. Some woman wearing niqab or something that was possessed. I was 100% told this by the brothers. And they had to do like ruqya, like many years ago. Like I many, that many years ago. The poor woman knocked at the window. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they did, they did. Well, like, there was four different women. They knocked on the window and one of them looked like a ghost. I'm not joking. Who's the, where is the brother? Was, the, she literally put her face on the, on the window and she looked creepy, creepy. Yeah. Wallahi, I, I was there when, when, I, when, when we first came in. Do, do, do you know the story of the, the, the guy who is making Umrah? How many ladies? Oh. The four ladies. Four, he, five. Uh, what, he, he like, yes, no, bro, I was there. I saw them. They were like, t -t 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 -t. So they take him to the, to the uh, ICU. So he thought he, he went to the No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Bro, she was like, and said, like half, uh, what, what, yeah, yeah, you could see her. We were four, yeah, four, four nurses. <laughs> so like, wahda, wahda, one, one by one. <laughs> oh, by the time you went there, but not, no one was there. No, bro, they, they were probably pranking us. Like, they were just walking past. Like, bro, yeah. bro, but she looked so creepy because her nose was against it. Bro, she looked like so creepy. Ask the other brother. Yeah, that's what it's saying, bro. Yeah, he's there, he's there. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah you saw that lady, that creepy girl. But, but you know, you know, you, you know, you were saying about jinns in the ELM. Yeah, it's true. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys know. My brother can hear the story. I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys know. We, we, we had a caretaker. Um, his name was Khan Shab. Um, he, pa he passed away. May Allah, may Allah grant him Jannah, inshallah. Um, and he, he was basically the caretaker of the mosque. So where where the the Maryam Center is built now. That's where the flats were. That's okay. where he used to stay. And um, uh, every day after Isha, he used to lock up the building 
and he used to carry a big bunch of keys yeah. with him dangling on it from his um, trousers. And um, every time he used to go to the basement Shut of the mosque, you know, the basement hall that we have, yeah. uh, it's, not, it's not how it looks <laughs> to, okay. to, to today. It used to be a lot more dark scary. and a, more, a bit more scary. The lightings were not that perfect. Yeah. Um, but he had a good relation with the jinns uh, huh? at night. So what he used to do, he used to lock up the whole building and roughly about say midnight or so, he used to go and lay out the chairs at the front row for the jinns to pray, to sit down. You know like how we lay out the chairs for the elderly? You could tell because he, he was able to come in contact with some of them while he was locking up. He could, he could feel that they're walking with him or they're locking up with him or you know you could he could hear noises things like that um different days he used to come and tell us different stories that he used to lay out the chairs but then he used to see the chairs moved back which means that there were other jinns praying in front mm -hmm. and they took the chairs out because it was disturbing them and so on uh you know so hearing these stories one like yeah they kept them in the basement area and then uh the next day they came and then suddenly he's just telling everyone, telling everyone that he wants to rush out. He leaves and the reason he leaves them, they found out that when they went to the basement, they, they saw that, you know, he, he had some magazines with him. There were dirty magazines that he was watching and he was getting knocked up by the jid in the, in the room until some of the, some of the apparently windows and stuff were a bit cracked for him because the, the jinn started battering from one side to another. So yeah, that's the story that goes around in the ELM. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally recording this at 100 frames per second so I can... You know, in Ramadan, we had so, so nice uh, videos. videos online. Oh, my eyes. The smoke. Yeah. The smoke got into my eyes, bro. I feel like crying. Alright, guys, guys, guys. Uh, I'm a bit scared, but we gotta do it, you know? Yo, this is some dodgy chair. This chair is dodgy. I'm not trying to take this chair. That's the wood, right? Yeah. Alright, guys, come close. I'm getting a bit scared, you know? By myself. So I can take any of this? Some super dodgy air. Oh, whoa. Was that a gin? Tried to trip me. Whoa, my gosh. Bismillah. Yeah, I'm gonna take like three. Yeah? Whoa! Whoa, I almost... What's that? Point the light over there. Which way? That way. This way? Whoa! <laughs> Guys! I'm not trying to risk it. And that's it. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna like slow mo it. Wait, can you make this anywhere? What? Where? Or do you need like charcoal to make this? No, you can do it in London. You can do it in London. Don't go to your garden and say I'm doing campfire. No, it's, it's, it's a very big barbecue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, half of it just went on me, guys. What are you guys doing? <laughs> you come this let, side, let's see how this brother is. By himself. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, guys. I'm not getting paid enough for this. We're done? So, technically, we can do it tomorrow in the rain. No, but it will yeah. just go. It's going to be you have to get the finger, a dry one. Oh. The fire one, can Yeah. Okay, that moon looks amazing. You can see the moon very clearly yeah, here on the camera. Good. Bro, guess who's gonna be the cameraman? <laughs> uh, Bye -bye, no, 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 you have the light, so you're perfect. Yeah, trust me, you give it to me, I'm taking selfies, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can be famous on YouTube, bro. Your face is really bright, it looks like a ghost. Ghostbusters. Nah, I'm just coming to this creepy place. Whoa, who's that? Pick up some wood, right? Okay. Yeah. Hi, you got a nice camera. What do you do for a living? Yeah? Oh, sorry, bro. I got scared. I was like, what is this? What do I do for a living? What? You got a nice jacket. What do you do for a living, sir? Uh, this is actually Ustad's jacket. Chef's jacket. I'm wearing this. But anyway, wow. if you guys want to know what I do for a living, go to my website, abueducates.com. Okay. We help you with A-level tutoring, GCC tutoring, and we help yeah. you to get into medical and dental school as well. What about if you want... Yes. I mean, if you're looking for a partner? Marriage partner? You just got to be a high-value man. You know what I'm saying? Are you a high-value man? I'm trying, you know. I'm trying. Which other person? No, no, no. 
Nah, he's down one next to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> let me get, let me get. Hey, wait. Uh, Abu Tawrab. I'll take it, I'll take it. Brother Abu T. Yeah. Well, are you have any man? You know, I'm trying, I'm trying, man. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Bro, you just got. Uh, I, I oh, just that's, that's, not, that's not high value. Brother, brother, you just cut him. He's a high value oh, man. Right. He's a high value man. You can't cut him like that. You would. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. I got three, yeah? Guys, you ready? <laughs> oh, you need it. Chatting, what do you think about this Abu Abu Tawra, brother? Mashallah, good brother, good brother. What about him? What do you think? Good guy. Yes, oh, mashallah. Nice. You're loved by the people. That's another sign of a high value. Bismillah. Don't just chuck it. Okay, don't just chuck it. He jucks it. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, because he's a yeah. brother. He's a high value man. Yeah. Don't chuck it. Oh, you meant to like put you it. You meant to place it. Oh, slowly, 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 slowly. Oh, salam alaikum. We'll play mafia, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Sheikh loves mafia too much. Guys, you need to be mafia wait, wait. outside. Listen, yo, guys, when you put it, try to put it you're almost away. like a pyramid. <laughs> you're in my room, mate. No, no, you're in my room because I stepped in the room first. Oh, sure. Technically, you you're in the. Okay, look. It's territorialism, bro. Oh, is it recording?